Hi there, it's me again, and uh, today I took this old Mac Mini, it's the uh, Intel version, the one before the aluminium, but not the first Intel version, the second Intel version with the Core 2 Duo CPU. But it only has 2 gig RAM, I tried to put in 4 gig, which I have ha here, from a, which uh, is from a newer Mac, but Snow Leopard, which was on here, crashed. I don't know if because the, it ha doesn't have the same memory bus speed. The new one has DDR3 12,000 something bus speed, uh, or it's the bus speed multiplicated with something. And the, the old ones has uh, 8,500 bus speed, but it's the same DDR3 memory otherwise. So it should work, but when I put it into Snow Leopard, it crashed. So I upgraded it to Mavericks. Let's see if it works. And now it's going to be the third time I'm, I third time I'm open this. So I hope it's going to be a little bit quicker. Just let me turn off the computer first. Okay, so now I just turn it off. Disconnected cables. And here we go. I'm not even going to use the iFixit instructions. Just going to try to remember how I did last time. But I'm going to use this. This is a bracelet for electrostatic discharge, which should go out this cable. All right. Take this, which you can use to put up tape, whatever it's called in English, I don't know. It's not an English course. It's actually, I'm just gonna show you how to find this shit so <laughs> Yeah, that's actually how you do it. Here we go. And these three, one, two, three. I think these two are for Bluetooth and that's for Wi Fi. I don't, I'm not sure. But this one has two things you can press very gently on here, and it pops open. And these two just use violent force. Like that, and mm, okay, like that. And there are two feathers, make sure the feathers are there, and this feather is there. All right, now um, there's a little sound cable here, which I just put up with my nail. You can use a screwdriver, a flat one, to get it up. And this is a with a little star here, screwdriver, is four screws. One. And it's going to be very exciting to see if OS X Mavericks will work with four gig. I could just Google it in 10 seconds, but I didn't do it. It's more fun to do it this way. And I lost count. Was this the last one? I think it was the last one. Yeah. Make sure nothing breaks. Ah, I can just do it like that. Just tape it there. Alright. Windows are attached. This is how it looks like uh, in the inside. The memories are here. Now, don't touch the memories if you are statically charged. But I have the bracelet. Just push to the sides like this. I don't know if you can see it. And it should pop up. So, in a, it's up a little, in a little angle and just pull it straight out like that. And I don't know where to put it so I don't put it in danger. And put that one there, and the other one. The same, just straight out. And put it gently here. Now, my theory is that Snow Leopard was 32-bit. It couldn't handle so much memory. Couldn't address it. 4 gig. 
because somewhere they had to point an integer in the BSD kernel. So it's a 2-bit integer. But Mavericks use 64-bit integers, hopefully at ma in many places. So that should work better. I can just get the memories out of there. Okay. That one. Start with the bottom one. Press it in at an angle and then pull it down. It should snap like that. And the other one. Same here. Angle. Push it in at an angle. And when it's in, snap it down. Finished. Now just screw everything back. Assemble it back again. This is actually not the easiest thing. That. that one, that one, yeah. I think everything's in place. Screw it back. back the antennas click that one click and I should go little feathery like that and uh, I think this is why I have to push a little bit but not too hard I'm putting it back like that should be feather a little bit and don't forget to put back the sound cable here uh, that's actually not so easy because you have to push and get it straight above. Ah, now it's in place. I think I took a finger behind. Alright, we should have sound too. If this thing will boot up. together. Okay, I'm gonna pause a little bit just to put the cables in. Okay, now the cables are in. Let's see if this one kernel panics or if it boots. Sound? Sound cable? Correct. Something happened with the image? Let there be an apple. Let there not be a crash. Apple. I don't want to kernel panic here now. Let's see. So far, so good. Okay, while we're waiting, I can just check on the bottom of this. Oh, I'm half blind. What does it say? Okay, I got a login prompt. I'm just gonna see the model. Somewhere there's a model number right down here. A1283. A1283. And that's the one, just the one uh, right before the aluminium one. No, I don't have a mouse pointer, okay. Do I have a keyboard? Yep, I have a keyboard. Workenstein. Ah, oh, okay. It wasn't connected, the mouse. That was <laughs> why it wasn't working. Okay, now let's see if I have a mouse. Yep. And if you click the apple up here, okay, and about this computer, which is a 4 gig memory, 1600 megahertz, my god, I think it's even faster. 
than it should be. It's just as fast in the new Mac. Hmm. Strange. Well, I don't complain. This is just great. Now I can actually use this one.